For Falkreath and I, this is just one more war in a long line. Oh, okay. Alright then, hello everyone. Um, it's me, and wisdom, today, light your path. Um, I'm gonna make a Skyrim video because I've not made a video in um, ages, so I'm going to I'm make a Skyrim here. one. I serve under Jarl um, Sidhir yeah, and Jarl Dengar um, before him. Basically, uh, this is a tutorial for how you can uh, make your own house in the Hearthfire DLC. So the first thing you want to do, if I can press the right buttons, is you want to go to Falkreath. And then once you're in Falkreath, you want to go to the Jarl's Longhouse, which looks a bit like this. You want to talk to the Jarl, he'll give you a quest to do, I've yes. already done it. What is it Basically, that you he's going to ask you to uh, kill the uh, chief of a bandit, uh, a group of bandits, and they're going to be hanging out uh, just here in Embershard Mine. Um, <coughs> sorry, I've got a cough. And then once you've done that, he's going to say... Um, that you are allowed to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. And once he said that, you wanna go to this woman here. For Falkreath and I, this is just one um, more war in a long line. And then you just, you ask her, uh, I'd like to purchase a house, and she'll say, there's no house, there's a piece of land. Um, and then, if you come back, this is the thing. Yes, it's a fine property. Well watered, plentiful stands of timber, beautiful view. And then you, yeah, um, I forgot to mention the things you'll need, but I'll go through that in a while. So you can buy it for five thousand gold. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Follow the road east from Falkreath, then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. May wisdom okay. forever light your path. So what you're going to need is absolutely nothing apart from a ton of gold. If you look down in my bottom left hand corner you can see I have that. And I'm going to show you where the property is. You're going to want to uh, actually uh, Go there because that's part of the mission. Okay, yep, there's evil guys over there, but I can run that. It's not, it's not too far away, it's uh, relatively close. I'd recommend going by horse because the horses in Skyrim uh, defy gravity and can walk up the mountains that are in the way. Or you can just take the path, which uh, I didn't do. So this is the location you will end up at, and you'll notice there's absolutely nothing there. So there we go, he's discovered it. He's gone. So you're gonna have, uh, here you're gonna have a drafting table, a chest, a carpenter's workbench, and an anvil. Um, oh yeah, and then uh, the beginner's hide to homesteading, you can read that if you want. Um, if you're just getting started. Um, so, as part of the quest, you're gonna have to read this. Uh, well, use this, and you're gonna need to use the small house layout. So that's what you make. So what that does is that puts this there, and this is gonna be like yeah. Okay, so now you wanna use the carpenter's workbench. Make a 
the foundation now. It says you need some sawn log. Um, I've already got some of that. And uh, ten quarried stone. Now where the quarried stone is, there's a stone quarry right here and a pickaxe right there for you to mine it. So you can just mine that until you have enough. And that is infinite. material you might need for some things is clay and to get that there is this just here uh, that you can mine and they're both infinite and um, to get sawn logs all you've got to do is go to this lumber mill here half moon mill and you can buy some lumber off the woman who runs the mill or you can cut it yourself out of the mill. So there's a foundation. That's gonna look a little bit like that. Sorry for turning my mic off, it's because I'm having a cough. And yeah, so then you can just get started from there. That's your drafting table, and you can't do anything with that until you've actually got the main body of the house. Um, in this chest is just some clay and some ingots, quarried stone, get you started. Then you're going to have to start getting them yourself. Um, a house wall, you need 10 nails, and to get nails, use your anvil. Now you can use, it's the, all this is is a blacksmith forge. And you go to building materials, and you have hinges, iron fittings, locks, and nails. Um, you want to use your nails because that's what it's asking you for. So there we go. You've got ten nails. <laughs> then you can make your wall. Then you've got the actual wall, and you need eight nails. So you're going to make some more nails. That's what you're going to start with. And then you, these are just little things you can make for outside the house. You can make an animal pen, a pyre, um, that is where bees live, I believe. Uh, armor, workbench, garden, grindstone, smelter, stable. Um, and yeah, so then if you want to actually make the building of the house bigger, you go to the drafting table again. And then you can uh, house remove workbench, you don't want to do that just yet. Make a main hall. You want to make that. Um, after you've made a main hall, it's going to give you a lot more options on this drafting table to make things that like come off the house and more rooms, underground rooms, and stuff like that. Um, inside the house, you can see there is absolutely no furniture. Um, to make furniture, use this workbench here. So you can just make these. And you get one of these with every room you build. And it just gives you a ton of options uh, of things to build. Uh, it's an empty chest. There you go, you get that. Um, 
But yeah, um, that is how to do Heartfire. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, these Skyrim videos, I'm going to start making a lot more of them. They are really, really, really hard to make because uh, I've got to. I'm going to do some uh, build uh, tutorials, uh, like ideas, um, stuff like that. So um, they, they they're going to be really hard to make because I'm going to have to make like a character for every video uh, that I do. So um, please just show some support by leaving a like and uh, subscribe. So. Uh, Thanks for watching. If you've watched this far to the end, I know this has been longer than a lot of other tutorials, but um, uh, see you later.